Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. Jalen Rose, there's a lot of stories in the world of sports and pop culture, and we always say we don't force topics. Not all of it's worth discussing. So we have a segment called Keep It Moving. Here's how it works, Jalen. If you want to talk about it, say hit the brakes. If you don't, me, you, and Meth Man, keep it moving. Are you ready? Let's get it. Nick Bosa is not returning to Ohio State this season. Keep it moving or hit the brakes? I'll say keep it moving. No surprise. We keep it moving. He come from a we football family. Right. He got to do what's best for his long-term health and career, which will be lengthy in the NFL. Focus on that, not playing for the Buckeyes. Derek Jeter has made a change for the Marlins. Keep it moving or hit the brakes? You know what? Hit the brakes on this one. Well, the way I teased it, you would think that he signed a big player or did something important. Nope, he took out this ugly sculpture in the Marlins Park. <laughs> I mean, this thing is a signature piece of the Marlins Park, but let's be honest, it's ugly. Too many colors. It's just not working. I mean, this is, this is probably the smartest thing Derek Jeter has done since he's been with the Marlins. Do you agree? No question about it. And I agree with you. That's an ugly sculpture for a guy who comes from the Yankees' way of doing things where they don't create side shows. They go out and produce on the field and show excellence. I'm pretty sure when he decided to be an owner of the team, that probably was one of the first decisions that he made. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Manny Machado is being called a dirty baseball player because of a collision at first base. Keep it moving or hit the brakes. You know what? Keep it moving. Like, the moving first baseman sat on you know, the base too long. Up. He ran mm -hmm. too far on the inside. They both were wrong. Yeah, it was pretty much a non-story to me. Moving on. The Warriors are going to have to pay if they want to keep winning. Keep it moving or hit the brakes. Well, we got to hit the brakes on this. Zach Lowe, our Hello. guy, Hello. is reporting that Klay Thompson is not interested in taking a hometown discount to stay with the Warriors. We saw Kevin Durant do it. Why do you think Klay Thompson is making a hard stance this early before he's a free agent? Everybody's situation is different. And so when you're Steph Curry and you're Kevin Durant, you make as much, if not more money, from endorsements away from the floor. When you're Klay Thompson and Draymond Green, those other two guys understand that to be the case. So therefore, it's important for them to get paid by the team that they're helping win championships. I believe ownership is going to do what it can to keep the roster in tow and have no problem paying Clay what he's worth. It's interesting. I think there's a little piece of the Warriors front office that wouldn't mind if Kevin Durant left because it allows them to keep everybody else. Otherwise, they're going to have to do some real decision making in the Bay. Moving on, Jimmy Butler has a new team that he has an eye on as a trade partner. Keep it moving or hit the brakes? We're going to keep it moving. He's not in control of his own moving. destiny. We it don't matter what he can feel or want. Amsterdam doesn't like being Amsterdam. Keep it moving or hit the brakes? Oh, we must hit the brakes or we wouldn't be Jalen and Jacoby. Amsterdam is known as being a free living city. They have some sort of loose laissez-faire policies when it comes to certain vices and what that does is draw a lot of stag parties, as they're called in Europe. Bachelor parties is what they're called here. And now Amsterdam is trying to cut off these groups of men coming and cavorting to their city and changing policies. What do you think about Amsterdam's new stance? The only way that can be valid is if they change how they operate out of their coffee shops and some of the things they tend to sell in them. Until that is abolished, this is going to continue to take place. And by the way, they should embrace it. They should own it. It's great for tourism. It's great for conversation. People are going there to celebrate. People are going there to have a good time. There are a lot of places in the country that people aren't going to celebrate. A lot of places in the world that people aren't going as a vacation destination. Amsterdam is one. They should own it. I go for the clogs and the windmills. That's, that's why I go to Amsterdam. I don't even know what you're talking about, coffee shops. Just clogs and w windmills. Wooden shoes and windmills. That's why I visit Amsterdam. When we come back, our favorite segment, cultural or regional. Stick around. We've got some good ones. Everyone knows the five senses. 